This new paper found a whole new way of forecasting unemployment that does a heck of a lot better than any of our existing methods. Here's the basic genesis. When we think about the state of the labor market, most people think about the unemployment rate. It's a static measure. It tells us how we're doing at a point in time. But we also know something dynamic. We know how many people are entering unemployment and how many people are exiting. And by analyzing those dynamics, it turns out we can do a much better job of trying to figure out where the unemployment rate's going. In fact, we can do a much better job, better than current professional economists do, better than the Fed does, and we're going to have a much better sense of where the economy is going over the next few months. One of the striking things about the Great Recession has been how the employment to population rate, the share of us who are working, has fallen and stayed at depressingly low levels. But it turns out this isn't just a recessionary phenomenon. It turns out, as, as, Moffat, as Robert Moffat shows, that the employment to population rate had been falling from 2000 through to 2007. So a lot of what looks like the effect of recession may well be part of a the slower long run trend. Trying to understand why is a lot harder of an enterprise. Uh, to the extent that it's driven by men, men are earning less today than they were uh, 10 years ago, and so that makes them less likely to work. And that's maybe half the explanation for men. But for women, well, women have been entering the labor force at astounding rates over the previous three or four decades, and that just stopped. And to be honest, at this point, that remains very much of a mystery. So we know this is a long trend. We're not quite sure what lies behind it.